to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Today we're going to take you back in time to where the happenings of the German Wehrmacht took place, German activity and a very unique little special surprise for us further down here. I'm just scouting around here because I see some traces of some kind of activity, military that is, so I'm going to check a little bit around here and uh, we'll take you along to this little surprise down all the way down to the ocean. All these rocks here, for typical people just walking out in nature, it will be kind of nothing. For us, it's the most important clue that something took place here. Someone dumped that rock here for a reason and why. So my first target is to see if there is something inside this forest here. And I do believe I've actually discovered a little detail here first. I'm gonna show you that. It's not easy to see because you really need to know what you're looking for. But these stacked rocks here, I'm gonna go over here. These stacked rocks that you see like a pile pointing here towards the ocean, it's actually a German defense position. Um, it could have been just a very small position with a mortar, could be with a machine gun, or they even managed to drag down a 20 millimeter pack gun here. It could be anything else as well, but you can see the bank there, it's been raised up, raised up, it goes like here, here, and here. That's the first clue of the action that took place here. So we're going to carry on a bit further over there, and I'm going to see if we can find some more clues. Yes, first little proof that I can actually show you. Right there, German barbed wire. See that pile there? That is not put there without a purpose. That is put there by the Germans. The little position is right there behind that log. And the ocean, which they anticipated enemy attack from, is out there. This is basically a defensive measure to be able to fence off the positions so that no one can come up from the ocean in a, you know, surprise attack. This is the main cable that holds the barbed wire fencing system. And there will be like three lines, one furthest down towards the ocean, one further up and one very close to the positions itself. That's a nice find actually. All right, I wasn't anticipating that but uh, we can go further down towards the uh, target of today hope you're all well see the sunrise here yes so beautiful i'm so happy to be out here so glad we can share small details with you on these journeys that we do the road trips that we are carrying out are quite extensive pretty tough and but we're going to bring you wonderful images to to look at yes there's another dug out right here actually right here you can't see it I see running train choose to come in here here's the dugout and again we do this see the ocean line all the way back there so this is on the ridge on the higher grounds from the target that we're gonna have a look at and uh, they really dug in deep to be prepared for whatever trick the Allied can come up with this area is pretty tough to walk in. Got some kind of huge rock pile up there. I did check it, there's nothing. Seems like they started to create something there, but they kind of just scrapped that idea. I don't know why, but okay. We're gonna head on further down here now. All right, I wanna see something wonderful, but uh, that stretch of ocean was very important for the Germans. They wanted to prevent anyone from coming in here from this side. And they sure was ready. And you're gonna see why further down here. Can you see it? Doesn't look like too much, but it's an incredible important strategic position for the Germans on the Atlantic Wall, but that's where we are. The Atlantic Wall was the vacation line of uh, structures and things that the Germans put out from the south of France to the top of Scandinavia, tens of thousands of things, structures, bunkers, barracks, whatever. So that little thing there, 
Doesn't look like too much from this side, but wait till you see the other side. You will be pretty amazed. Want to see that? That is very rare. That is one of the barbed wire fence systems holder. We call them the triple pig eyes. See that? They're really drilled into the rock. This would stand maybe right up or bent like this. And the barbed wire fence systems will go through here like three lines. They're held together with thicker wires. And it's just there. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, find of eagle eye. Look at that. Massive drill thing into the rock. Probably to tighten up the barbed wire fence. Maybe it's the end point for a barbed wire fence system. I don't know. It could be that pulled the camouflage cable and wires and canvas on top onto that thing there. Very nice. I'm gonna have a look at that thing there. But look here. There was actually a set of stairs absolutely in the middle of nowhere. So why is it there? Sometimes they actually signed or engraved dates or names on the steps. So very often if I have the time, I'll go and look at each and every step, either on the top or the lower one. It could be like Hans 1940, something like that. <laughs> it's very cool to find and I have found that actually in very very many locations also I've seen Schwarzenegger engraved in and somewhere they cast it in the 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 eagle and all kinds of variations of that so that's pretty cool it's another see it right there another of the piglet barbed wire holders everywhere absolutely everywhere the barbed wire is long gone because the farmers and locals took that away but these were kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of you can bend them back and forth and back and forth they won't break but you can bend them back and forth like a hundred times that's why you can curl them like that <laughs> so they were very tough so that's why they're still here so why don't we take a look at this structure here wow that is something and when you see the front side, it's even cooler. You can see they built this little staircase down here. And I have to say these rocks are incredible slippery now when there are ice and cold conditions. So you have to be very, very, very careful going down to positions like that. I'm gonna take you over to this side and there you can see it. This is a gun placement where they had a pretty sturdy gun being able to do whatever you like out there. You can see it has this very specific profile which is kind of special to see all the way down on the coastline. And uh, there's a special reason for that and you'll see that when we come to the front. But I'm going to take you inside and have a look there. You see they made this passage well, often we refer that to as a splinter wall it's heavy duty thick look at that it's like one and a half meter out there actually this is the disposal of the fired rounds out that hole again see this splinter wall here very very heavy duty and uh, let's go inside that's the base of it and I'm kind of leaning towards that being the primary munition storage right there. And out there, they would empty the spent shells and they were picked up by a crew, just thrown in the back there. And the process would be munition coming in, gun firing, and the disposed cartridges up there. And this is the view of the crew inside here. Is that spectacular or what? Huh? Look at that. That is just so impressive. So this is basically the view a German soldier would have here being a crew of the gun and they would scout out there for days and days and days when the order came boom, out there the round would go. So mainly a gun for hitting vessels, not for hitting any 
aircrafts, but they could actually hit aircraft if they could have the elevation high enough, but I'm not sure whether they did that. Here you can see the forces of nature. The bunker is pretty high up from, from the uh, ocean itself, but still is being eroded. The waves will come up here with tremendous power and boom, ram the bunker and just dig it out underneath as it has done here. So this is this side. There's nothing special about that actually, but the special thing that I had up its sleeve, it's on the other side. So let's go up there. So all we do for you, beautiful viewer supporters, I'm guessing that area was used to store munition just very crudely right here, camouflage counts on top and some logs and all of that. Basically that area will be kind of where they threw the spent rounds. The entrance of the bunker here, I'm actually on top of the bunker roof. And this is the front. But this one has got this arm pointing out, the finger. And that is quite special actually, but it was a primarily a function to protect itself from this flank here. So they knew that if the attack would come in here, this position would be able to cover all of this area. But because of the movement of the gun, this would kind of be a limitation. But this is very precisely calculated. So there would be another position which will face more of this area. And that would be protected either by this one right hand side or on the left hand side. So they will be in a pattern up along the coastline and overlapping each other. So that would protect from a surprise attack coming in here because of the range of the gun. It kind of stops here. But basically this attack coming from this side should have been taken care of by the next gun position. So actually there wouldn't be no need for it, but that's how they built it with that in in, in mind and uh, I'm not sure whether that helped or not. You can see that beautiful crystal clear water down there. So it couldn't have been too bad to be here during those years. It would be probably a lot, lot better than being out on the Eastern Front. We're not park diggers digging in playgrounds or exploring shopping malls that is ice. It's very, very cold here, I promise you. There you go. That's the view from this side. And now you can, I'm gonna go a little bit over here. I don't wanna fall, so I have to be very careful. And you can see the finger coming out. That is really, really nice. I'm not sure whether it's the ocean that does that. It kind of really deteriorates the uh, exterior there, but it might. It might be that the salt and all of that just dissolves the whole structure. And during these years, it will kind of just be dissolved more and more. And in the end, maybe the whole front piece there would just go away, I don't know. But that's a formidable site. And uh, wow, I'm really glad we actually found it and shared it with you. It doesn't look like much, but it was an important piece of the German structure, procedure and kind of strategy on the Atlantic wall. Well, Eagle Eye and myself, we do give this a thumbs up. Fantastic little thing there on the Atlantic wall. I'm so proud and honored to share these moments with you. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, enable that so you can kind of be notified every time we release new material. Check out the possibility to become a Patreon supporter. Yeah, I'm nagging about it, but that's the only way we can continue doing what you, we do. And if you like it, we can do more with more support. Um, other than that, what can I say? Again, to my patrons, so much. A massive thank you and a hug from us. Without you, well, we wouldn't be able to do this. Other than that, we are off to a extremely interesting new location that we just discovered and we are going to share that with you in the very near future. Until next time, stay safe, see you later, and bye bye.